Welcome to Empire Bites, we're going to pay and welcome back to my Oblivion Let's Play, where we're going to continue left off from last time. Well, at yeah, the well. moment, I'm still doing the Dark Brotherhood quest lines, but I actually wanted to make sure I remembered to, because this was in the comments last time, um, I should do the Renald Germain quest in Core Hall. And I'm supposed to get a cool shield. I like cool shields, so I'm going to want to try and do that at some point. Uh, I just don't know if we want to do that right now, because I think I actually can't remember what quest that might have been. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I've heard rumors in Core Hall that he's been seen in Shaden Hall. He's been actually trained. So I think this is the one I have to do, the separated at birth. I think that'll bring me to the shield. So I'll remember to do that later. I think we'll continue doing the Dark Brotherhood for now because I'm fairly certain we're getting very close to finishing it off entirely. So let's see. So we need to find the next... Oh, yes. Okay. The dead drop was in the Aelid Ruin of Nornal. Let's go over there. I actually really need to try the... I, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> it looks like it's Russian. It looks like it's maybe Russian. I don't know what it is, but he's a modder. I was doing an Alien Runes overhaul, and I do intend to try it out at some point. Uh, I just haven't taken the time to try and install it. I might have that be something I maybe try at the end of this campaign, or Let's Play, sorry. Um, once I've kind of made sure I finish the main storyline, so that in case I fuck things up and really mess up my uh, install by installing another mod over what I already have, uh, which is not going to matter. And we can still we can be like, oh yeah, we've finished the main story. This is an extra thing I wanted to showcase before we're properly done. So that might be something to do later on. It's kind of a shame that I didn't install it beforehand with this before I'm going to normal. Um, but i uh, just been focusing on the da uh, Daedra campaign that I started recently. The Daedra Invasion campaign in Elder Scrolls Total War. I'm excited for that one. It's doing really well so far. And that should start now. I'm a little behind. But it should start uh, popping up in the cards for this one. So if you guys haven't seen it already, then it should be uh, linked in the cards here. Uh, so let's see. So I've been, I think I've been to Nornal before. I can't remember why. But let's go in here and see what's going on. Need to find whatever dead drop they're talking about. I'm just gonna stealth on through so I don't have to fight. I don't know who might be in here. Okay, why did I come back into normal again? I know I did for some reason. I just don't remember what. This has been a while. It looks like it actually is over here. Let's go for water. Ah, yes, there's a key. Ah, there's a chest. So there we go. Next orders. Let's get out of order. And then see what they have to say. So, let's see. Dead drop orders seven. Uh, so my compliments on another job all done. Uh, bullet holes. Stop. Let's go again. So my next target is a wood elf named Ungolum, who resides in the city of Braville. Bob is also home of an ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. It is seen as a symbol of good luck and prosperity, and the fools of Braille often speak to the statue and wish for good tidings. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Poor un love struck Ungom the lady and please protect the heart of a young maiden. Made his marriage, and husband has learned of his affection for his bride. If he's a petition, it would seem, and has commissioned the Dark Brotherhood to help in the matter. Alrighty then! Let's kill this adulterer, I guess. Go to Braville, locate him, kill him. He owns a house in the city, but spends his days security locked inside. Uh, that's... <laughs> I don't care if he locks himself inside. I have the skeleton key. Let's see, so by all accounts, he's a dead arson. He's in trouble, so if he sends his danger, he may attack you on sight. Uh, like the cheek guys, bribe the guards, look the other way. If there's a fight, they don't interfere, so they don't bring him down. He must not fail. Okay. So once it's broken, my next... Okay, so then we'll have to go to Anvil. Dead Drop is in a barrel located behind the statue in the pond. Stand your word. Okay. Ah, uh, perfect. Guess he's bribed them. This is actually going to be pretty easy for us then. Seriously, Mr. Rat? Seriously? No. Uh, thank you for the lockpick, although it doesn't really matter for me. Okay, so off to Braville. I'm just going to break into his house and murder him, as I have no need for subtlety. <laughs> Let's see, so he's in Bra... Braville? No, it was Bruma. No, I don't have the quest active. <laughs> yeah, no, because he was in Braville. Okay, so we'll go down here. 
I don't care if he's in his house or not. I'll just go into there. I don't need to wait for him outside. I could. Good evening. Oh, is he already outside there? Die, damn you. Why? Uh, Do you he is being murdered by women. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Where did he go? What? What got into you, man? Why are you just murdering people? Why are the women of the town trying to kill you now? <laughs> You're just straight up murdering them all. Like, what the hell? Like, I didn't interact with him, but, uh, this is kind of fun to watch. He's trying to kill the entire town. The guards that he bribed are killing him now. Uh, he's already killed one random innocent person. Ah, wow. No! I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time. Thought I could stop you! I didn't do anything. I see this. What have you done? What madness has claimed you? I did nothing, though. You betrayed me. <laughs> I you just stood there and watched. You betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I am here to end your miserable life. To... But... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? Nope. Your first dead rough contract. You carried that out. Killed Saladin. After that, you eliminated the Draconis family. As ordered then. Betrayal. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Jagasta. Shali. Zuvalovani. Havelstein, Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungolum, the Listener himself. The surviving oh. members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. I want to say nothing. Don't please. you see? The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. That's fairly obvious. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I am hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. I can do that. Uncover the true traitor's identity and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. Okay, so... Uh, I'll wait for you at Apple Watch, Apple watch okay. the farm where you killed the old Dracons. Ah, woman. okay. It should be empty and safe. Now go, and may Sithis help us all. I forgot that this uh, quest line is having me Learn kill the Black the Hand. Betrayer, so I still don't know what is going on, and restore but I still find it hilarious the black that... Uh, Ungolum was murdered by just people in the fucking city. Uh, I'm gonna take... Ooh, damage man. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna take your shit. All of your shit, because it's fine. I'll take the key. And uh, honestly, I wanna... Let's kind of check on his house. I'm curious if she, he's got anything of interest. Same with her. So, Ungolum and Renaline's house. Where are they? I just want to look into their house and see if they've got anything of value. Oh, they're like right next to each other. Literally right next to each other. Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, don't see me. Does he have anything of value? So let's see. Uh, chest. I'm just gonna auto attempt this. I'm not expecting much in here, but I'm just curious if they have anything of interest. Ooh, actually, steel warhammer, steel maces. Sure, I'll grab those. They're worth something. 
I'll just have to find one of my fences to talk to. Well, I've got my uh, fence that's in the Imperial City that I'll go to. He always has a decent amount of money. Uh, the singular leak. Pumpkin, watermelon, cupboards, more goods. Barrel leak. Yeah, don't mind me that I should be going immediately to Anvil to figure out who is uh, deceiving us, but we'll be fine. I control the space-time continuum, and I'll get there just in time. So I'm just going to grab all of this stuff. It seems like there's only going to be really a bunch of food besides those weapons. I don't really think he's got much else in here. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, there's three gold, but it's like at 68,000. Anything up here? Ah, he's got his other chest. I'll at least check this one. And I think I'll just get going. I'm not going to check the other girl's house. Because he didn't have all that much in here. Check his drawers. Okay, let's just get going. There's not enough here for me to really worry. I'm going to first stop by the Imperial City. I'm going to drop off all that food and talk to my fence. I'll meet you guys. Yeah, following the lead. So I need to go to Anvil, and then we'll be waiting for them. So I'll meet you guys back at Anvil. Alrighty, back at Anvil. Let's find this dead drop. So it's supposed to be right next to this statue. So they described it as original. Okay, so Dranger Sitland Dead Drop is in a barrel located behind the statue in the pond at the same time. So I, because I'm a sneaky fuck, I'm gonna have that barrel right there. I'm gonna be stealthy. And wait, like. here? Yes. If I can. Can I get on top of the statue like this? No. Kind of can't. Okay, well. Now we wait. I don't know how long I have to wait. But I'm assuming if I actually use the wait command, it's just going to fall through. Is that person coming over here? I thought that was just one of the beggars. Maybe. Maybe you're the one I'm looking for. You do seem to be walking over here. Maybe you're probably the one. You have to be a wood elf. Yep, it's you. Can I just kill you? Absolutely not. Because the quest specifically states Wait near the barrel, see who comes. I just confront this person and find out why they're the Hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It was the robed man. He. He paid me to put those things in the barrel. Okay. Which I don't man? know his name, and his face was in shadow. He called to me yesterday as I walked by the lighthouse. I think he lives there. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Anvil. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Okay. Uh, okay, tell me about the lighthouse. It's just outside the city walls. I think the robe man has lived there for quite some time. In, in the cellar. I don't know what goes on down there. But there's a horrible smell coming from underneath that door. It's like something died inside. Hmm. Listen, that's all I know, really. Maybe Ulfgar Fogai can tell you more. He's the lighthouse keeper and probably rented out the cellar. Talk. Talk to Ulfgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if... if you want to get down there. Now, please, just let me go. Yeah, go ahead. Get the hell out of here, man. Just, also, did just you actually put the money in here? Yes, you did! So I'm gonna grab this one and see what it is. So, what does the quest now say? So, I've spoken with him. Excuse me, uh, pay by the robe man. Ah, oh, the robe man is a traitor. I must speak with Fog Eye and see if you can persuade him to give me this silver key. Well, that should be simple enough with my bow before me speak. So let's go to the lighthouse. It looks like it's like right over that way. No, it's actually more over to the harbor. So let me go to the harbor and find this lighthouse they're referencing, because that's where we have to go next, it seems. Ah, lighthouse is right there. Okay, that's not even that far away. So let's see what this man's got to say. I should be able to easily convince him to let me into the cellar, honestly. Otherwise, 
it, it requires a key. I hate that they started doing that in Oblivion where you have to have a key sometimes. You can't just lockpick your way through everything. Like, let me let me check. The cellar. I thought I saw a just the plant. Because the cellar is where's the entrance to the cellar? Uh Is it not outside? Oh, okay. Well, it might be the entrance inside that. Let's go into his house, check on him. Uh, where is he? Okay, so he's actually in the lighthouse right now. Oh, don't tell me you're all the way at the top, man. Ugh, oh, gotta walk up the tier. One small eternity later. Wow, that's actually a beautiful view. I take it you Yo. want something. Well now, what might you want? I want the cellar key. Oh, do you now? And just why should I give you that? Because I'm like your best friend, your long lost friend. Uh, if you don't, I'll sign this up. Dude, I, I just persuaded him. I'm just gonna say nothing. All right, that's it. You've gone and annoyed me now. Have at thee. <sighs> okay. Die, you don't do that much damage, man. I was just gonna convince you to give it to me, but I didn't have that dialogue often. Everything was just going towards me murdering you. Well, I will take. I'm not gonna even take your stuff, fellas. It's not worth that much. So we got the silver key and some gold. Your corpse. <laughs> yes. Let me just now uh, persuade your corpse. Can I throw your corpse off of the lighthouse? I think you're too heavy. Yeah, I can't move your body up that high. Damn, I want to like throw you off the ledge. <laughs> Might give me away though. Okay, so let's go back down into the cellar now, because I'm assuming that's what the quest is telling me about. So I must unlock the cellar and proceed down so I can continue my investigation. So I'm assuming the cellar has an entrance in here. That's what it kind of looks like. I didn't see one outside. Uh, no, more wine though. More wine around here. Ah. Gold Coast, and then. Wait, is it? So the house. Oh, I completely missed that. Yeah, I didn't require the key. Okay. Oh, there's a dead dog. Sorry, doggo. There's a lot of dead people in here. Holy shit. Alright, a lot of dead people in here. I'm just gonna steal all the food now. <laughs> Don't mind me. ton of corpses in here, let's see. So I can enter the lighthouse cellar. I must now search the cellar for some clue to the traitor's identity or motives. Man, he left just a pile of corpses down here. Like, why? Like, you got a dead sheep, you got some dead wolves, you got some dead people. A dead woman, for in, in particular. Like, unknown victim. Nothing on you. More corpses. More corpses. What's going on right here? What about in this room? Uh, crazed dog. Oh. <laughs> I meant to call. I didn't mean to call him you. I meant to start grabbing my magic spell to kill you. There you go. You've been put to rest. More dead people. Dead rat? That's a... Uh, a head. Okay. Man, I don't remember this quest all that well. Traitor's Diary. Ooh. Mother's head. It's all right, Mother. It's almost over. I'm so close. Lots of kill. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna put her, her head back down. <laughs> I thought this was a quest item that I needed, but nope. Jesus. I like to lie in the grass and watch the ants and wish sure one of them I did not remember this character whatsoever. Jesus, I forgot how fucked up this is. Huh. Use one of his old silencers? Diary. Jesus. Um. Don't want that in my inventory. There's still nothing on you. Okay, uh, so what's this thing quite to say? So I've discovered the traitor's diary. He has been in the Dark Brotherhood for years and is now a member of the Black Hand. His goal is to uh, is revenge against Lucy and the Chance and all the brothers of the murder of his mother when he was a child. He actually plans on killing the Night Mother. I must turn to Lucian the Chance at once at the farm called Avalanche and give him this information. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So let's go over to Apple Watch. Wherever the hell that was again, there it is. God, I forgot how fucked up that book was. I shut up. Okay, so where are you in here, man? I need to talk to you. Silencer, at last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. I am Arquin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucian Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason, and used you to do his dirty work. Shit. But now, we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucien Lachance's place on the Black Hand. Welcome. As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener! The Black Hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So, we have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. 
We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Can our I try and home. figure out which one of you is the fucking traitor first? The ritual begin. He tried to defend himself, tried to declare his innocence, but we would not hear his treacherous lies. Kill me if I do the same. As you can see, he was no match for the combined power of the Black Hand, even weakened as we are. You must understand our need for darkness and secrecy. Yeah, that's the thing to start. Can I talk May to we the forever rest of you? serve the Night Mother. So you are like an unholy vision. So beautiful. Four others. I'm sorry. He's been murdered, stripped, and mutilated by the Black Hand, apparently. Thought he was a traitor and punished him accordingly. I want to talk to the rest of Greetings, you. speaker. So it seems like I can only talk about him. Most of my time is now spent on administrative duties. I have not had blood on my hands in far too long. Killing the chance was pure ecstasy. You like that. Sithis is mad. Our troubles are almost at an end, brother. Soon we will visit the Night Mother, and she will surely guide us. The four of us attacking him in unison was as graceful and beautiful as a ballet. The flashing of steel, the spraying of blood. God, everybody's a fucking psychopath, and you all gotta kick out of killing him. Sithis this be is not gonna be a way to distinguish Hello, his... fellow speaker. Welcome to the Black Hand. So nice to see you're in one piece. You should take some time to admire his corpse. It really is a thing of beauty. The punctures and slashes are almost poetic. <sighs> so I remember walk in the shadow of death. from the traitor's diary. His mother... It's hard to tell with how her corpse was. Her head... I don't think it's the dark dark elf. Greetings, fellows. You're you're high. Black hand, welcome. It didn't look like an elf. So technically it'd be you May or we you. Serve the night mother. You are kind like of an thinking it's vision. you. So beautiful. Since you're kind of staying away and you think it's poetic, I think you might be the traitor. Um, but I need to wait so you said like what? What was the time? Dear speak You must it's understand our at three a.m. So let's wait here between that amount of time. Oh, man. I wish I would have been able to figure out who was the uh, traitor before then. But, okay. I think it might be the guy on the right. I think. He seems the most suspicious, and I don't think that mother's head looked like an elf. So, I think it's either you or you. Dear Speaker, I don't think it's you. when darkness shrouds the Empire, we can... The Night Mother must be awakened, so that we may seek her guidance. Are you ready to travel now to her resting place? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Very good. And so it begins, the Black Hand's journey into a darkness few can imagine. Let us be off. The Night Mother awaits. Okay, and she's going to teleport me immediately. Behold the Night Mother. The locals call this statue the Lucky Old Lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. Ah. For this stone effigy masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site. The Crypt of the Night Mother herself. In a moment we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night Mother. I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? Can I? Unholy I was going to try and get my spells ready. Black Hand beseech you. Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance. Well met, guildmate. 
Because what I think I'm gonna do is when I'm in there, I'm gonna make sure I have my paralysis spell <laughs> active. Uh, so that when I see the dude, I will immediately try and paralyze him. Who, who are you? Okay. You just saw our entire thing. But uh, I guess that won't matter. Okay, well, let's go into the Crypt of the Night Mother. I'm watching you two. What is the meaning of this desecration? Who has disturbed my ancient slumber? Dearest Night Mother, most unholy maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by sickness, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear mother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us your listener so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish little girl. Lucian Lachance served Sithis till his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. See, guys? Enough. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. Yep, it was you. I will destroy your night mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. I don't get to do anything. What treachery? The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Bellamont. Do not let him harm the night mother. Don't kill him. I'm trying to, but you have me stuck here. So I'm going to just put him on the ground and then just kill him. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. This is the parade. Just keep being paralyzed and throwing on the ground. I don't know, magic. Shit. So I'm just gonna keep paralyzing him and then just putting frost magic straight into his body. Because damn, that does a lot of damage, and that lasts quite a while. Do 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 do. I don't have the magic for that now. Come on. So it was this guy. I thought it was he was gonna be the one. At least your damage is shit. There. They're all dead. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, young one. Your killing of the old man Bainlam, the execution of Adamus Villana, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family. Your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. You, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. Yes. I revel in their slaughter. I know, dear child, I know. You carried out your orders to the letter in the name of the black hand. How could I be anything but happy with you? No, my anger lies with the rest of my children. You see, I have known of Matthew Belmont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungallin was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. Yes, dear child, yes. The Dread Father foresaw it all. You were meant to kill the traitor. You were meant to be named Listener of the Black Hand. You possess strength and cunning, and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by Sithis the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. Ah, uh, see, so finally the authority to serve. I uh, know what happens now. Go, take a few moments to collect yourself. Meditate upon all that has transpired. Help yourself to any treasures this crypt may offer. When you are ready, speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home, the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done, and when you are back in the Sanctuary, 
Speak with Arquen. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Simple enough. Okay, well, I'm gonna loot your body first. Ooh, you actually do have some nice effects on them. Although they gave me a full set of that, did they not as well? Ah. Uh, yes, they did give me my own set. But I'm not gonna be using it. I do wanna see his dagger. If I can look at that, because these are just iron long swords. Just a little bit of gold. Yeah, a little bit of gold and iron long swords. I wanna see that dagger. That dagger is enchanted, I know for sure. Dagger of Numbing. Eh, it's worth a little bit. I should probably not desecrate this corpse. <laughs> Just maybe. Ooh. Oh, I thought these might have been a skill up for their price. No, more flesh. What's... Oh, okay, some Grand Soul Gems. I can take that. And this one. Ooh. Short Sword of Fire. Battle Hunter Collins. Ooh. Detect life 65 points on self. That wouldn't be bad, actually. And also, I think that'll technically be... Although, detect life was not working before. Although, let's see. If it does work, that'd be great. Because is that the only other chest in here? That's definitely not a chest. Oh, there's one here. Arrow blizzards. And then say, axe of icy darkness. Oh, yes! This is going to be, like, the perfect weapon, technically, to use with my spells, because I have so many frost spells right now. Uh, Vest of Warding. Uh, 8% shield on self. Ooh. These are all some really nice effects. Can I technically wear that Vest of Warding with how my mods are set up? <laughs> technically, I could. It looks stupid. I'm not going to. But, um... So the, these ones, these ones actually have a little bit more armor. I think it's because they're ebony. Oh no, is that orcish? I think that's orcish. Okay, well, let's see. Well, it makes me... Nope, it doesn't do anything. Okay, I need to at some point, I think what I'm going to do is... I want to try and find some sort of ebony gauntlets that I'll give to myself that I'll use. But now let's go to the. Oh. Wait, what? You've returned. I trust oh, okay. you've weighed the importance of your new position. For you will soon hear words that will change lives, alter destinies. And I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt. Once you leave, you will be unable to return. Now, are you ready to begin your new life? I would say so. Oh, well, yes, I'm ready. Very good. Now begins your true journey. We will soon become very intimate, you and I. <laughs> That's not creepy at all, the way that was delivered. Okay. Before I send you away, however, I would like to present you with a rather special reward. Okay. I see you still possess the Blade of Woe, the weapon given you by Lucy Machance when you first met. Oh yeah, now she's Allow me now to it. unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of Woe a bit more potent than it was. Now go. Leave this crypt. And serve our dread father till your dying breath. I can do that. So how much stronger is the Blade of Woe now? Let's see. Blade of Woe. Damage willpower 20 points. Health 20 points. Demoralize. Damage magicka. Not bad. Not bad. I'll keep it. Probably not going to use it very often, but I will keep that. Okay. Well, let's see what Arquin has to say. I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to reestablish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the Listener. Once a week, 
You must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week, get the list of names and locations, and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. Simple enough. Do this, and I will give you your share of the sanctuary's weekly earnings. There's so much work And now to I just have a nice passive so source of revenue. Work. Well, passive. I have to go to the statue every once in a while. But, there we go. We've now finished the Dark Brotherhood storyline. Uh, I don't think they spe specify now. I don't know what day technically it resets, but I guess I can just go there anytime once a week into Brawlville and do that. Okay. But no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have us we, uh, start this one next. That's the quest we're going to focus on next, because I need a new shield. <laughs> I really do. I've been using the same shield forever. And if I'm supposed to be getting a shield from this, I definitely want that. So I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.